Well, it is a law meant to protect uh, children from sex offenders, but as we found out, it's so confusing even police can't agree on how to handle it. Our Alex Reed gets to the bottom of this story you can't stop talking about. All new at 5.30 tonight. Christy Hammond was removed from the Wilkes Community College because of the Jessica Lunsford Act. If this is about the right to my education. The law was written by North Carolina State Senator David Hoyle in honor of the murdered girl born in Gastonia. He, he says that he feels guilty because when he wrote the law, he didn't mean for the law to affect me. She says Hoyle told her on the phone today that when he wrote this law, it was intended to keep sex offenders away from children, not to keep her from getting an education. He said it was the school's fault, and I told him that it's not the school's fault. I said it's your fault. The truth is, it's apparently not the school's fault. We obtained a memo written by the lawyer for the North Carolina Community College system. It says, quote, I recommend that community college officials take no affirmative acts to identify or otherwise initiate any direct actions against any sex offender that may be in violation of the Jessica Lunsford Act, end quote. Simply put, the school does not control enforcement of the law. That's the job of the sheriff's department. Wilkes County hauled Hammonds off campus. They say they're in the right. But I got a different story when I asked the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office. Uh, this section does not apply to child care centers that are located on or within 1,000 feet of the property of an institution of higher education where the registrant is a student or is employed. Captain Christian Rahe says older laws still on the books exclude colleges from the list of places banned for sex offenders. So. The way I read it, no, it would not apply. Even if they have a daycare facility? Even if they have a daycare. Well, law enforcement officers tell me it depends on your interpretation of the law. And in fact, one interpretation in Raleigh is actually keeping a registered sex offender out of his own church. Hoyle told Hammonds he plans to re-examine the wording of this law in a session this May. Reporting live from the newsroom, Alex Reed, News Channel 36.